We have various ways of providing instructions and data into digital devices. Keyboards and mice, touch screens and microphones, GPS signals, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. But there are many other sensors and peripherals available to allow digital devices to interact with the world. Now, your Makey Makey kits, these provide a simple interface where young students can develop practice at creating various input devices for a computer. And your code bug, it provides a more complex device where we can take inputs in the same way as a Makey Makey, but they can then be programmed to respond to these inputs on the device. And there are a range of other low-cost microcontroller boards that add additional functionality. The most common by far is the Arduino range. These are small circuit boards that can be programmed to respond in different ways. Now the Arduino board can be sourced for less than $5 and kits of sensors for less than 20. And these sensors can include vibration, light, tilt, infrared, temperature, humidity, heartbeat, magnetic field, ultrasonic distance, flame, and dozens more. These then provide the option for students to include in their solutions to problems. But the Arduino circuit boards can be greatly expanded through the use further through the use of plug-on plug expansion boards. So this is an example of one. Um, it use, is used for detecting voice recognition and it simply slots into the top of the Arduino board through the various pins that are on the board. And these boards can add a whole range of functionality. Motor controls are very common when you're using robotics but also for any other device that you want to control that has a motor. A data logging has a battery and a flash card to record data over a long period of time. There are Wi-Fi communication boards, um, cell phone, and even satellite communication boards. Uh, GPS boards to record location, uh, music players, LCD planet, panels to display information, and cameras. Now the challenging aspect is that they are a bit more finicky, and there are technologies available that allow you to connect boards together much easier. But they come at a greatly increased cost. Um, now there are other kits such as CircuitScribe and Little Bits that can be much easier to use with magnetic connections and conductive ink, but they lack the capacity to incorporate programming and at this stage data communication. Um, Little Bits does have some of that capability, but at the moment it's not available in Australia because it's only workable with US power supplies. But we also have single board microcomputers, such as the Raspberry Pi and the BBC Microbit. Now the BBC Microbit has been distributed to every seventh grader in the United Kingdom. And they're a step up from Adreno boards. They have the ability to run an operating system, a simple one, but an operating system. So while they can have the same sort of inputs with sensors and expansion boards as the Arduino, they can be set up as actual computers and run software and programming languages. They can then automate activities and do a whole range of operations rather than the specific set of instructions that you need to put onto an Arduino board. Now they can connect to TV sets or computer monitors, have keyboards and mice, and run software applications such as word processors and spreadsheets, games such as Minecraft, and web browsers connected to the internet. Now they do cost more than Arduinos. You can generally get an Arduino for less than $5. Microcomputers generally $30 to $60. But the cost is dropping every year and the ability for students to have their own computer on which to experiment and learn with is invaluable. Now the final step up from a single board microcomputer is the range of build your own computers and tablet kits. Now these allow students to disassemble and reassemble and put together their own system of components that make up a, a computer. Now there is still essentially a microcomputer board with a whole range of attached peripherals and cases. The most notable being the Kano, the PyTop and the 56 Creations range. Now these were actually 
developed and marketed by Queensland's own Year 11 student, Taj Pavere. Now he identified a problem in school computer education and set out to solve it, creating his own products and a global company with a staff of 50, all while still at school. He set out to make his solution a reality, an example of the potential of digital technologies to transform the way students see computing and what they can make possible.